subscribe and share. Please, turn off the ad block, subscribe, and share. Links will be below for anyone wanting to support this channel. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of Tech Beast Now. And today we are going to get into the parental controls within Windows 10. The parental controls are online and there is a small section that you do need to deal with on the actual operating system itself if you want the child or adult to log in to the computer but beyond that let's jump on in so make sure you're on a measure account and then go to all settings from there go to accounts and then family and others if the family members are already linked up to your online account they will show here and it will say can't sign in this is because they are linked as a family member but they aren't linked to the computer themselves now to fix this what you need to do is click on this and click allow and you may see this add a family member or not and if you do see the add family member i'll just ignore it because it's easier to do the adding a family member online and um if, if you see sign into your microsoft account then just sign in and do this now to get to the online section what we need to do is click the manage family online and from here what we can do is we can add a child or an adult children are basically what you set up as you can be on a computer at such and such time adults obviously have control over that if everybody in your family is an adult already and they don't really need parental control then just avoid this entire thing but if you do have kids then what you need to do is add a, a child to the list adults who you trust to change the settings as needed when the child's able to, to be on the computer what applications they're able to use things of that nature and you can go from there so adding a child is pretty simple or adult just press add and put in their microsoft account information once you do that and they accept on their end what you need to do is if you're an adult you click on the child's account you log in and then from here what you can do is change the account as needed and you can do a full overview activity report and this is a dummy account I haven't really logged in with it so there's going to be no activity but it tells you the web activity the PC activity and and this makes it a lot harder back in the day it was stupid easy to erase the history and cookies and all the other stuff and if you want to hide the information from your parents you can easily do it now with this no you really can't it's, it's very very difficult to hide it if the parents set it up like this because now it's new security features and trust me if you aren't doing this and i'm um, shoving down someone's throat you're probably not going to be the favorite person in the house so you also have pc activity reporting so you can see whenever the person is online web filtering so you can say that I want to allow or not allow some sites so what you do is you simply go to the left side of this little block and you can move it up to allow only in whatever's on the list right here you can go all the way up to warn on adults and stuff like that and also you can put stuff like say for example if you don't want the kid to go to Facebook 
You can put it on a block list if you want to go. If you want to allow them to go there, then you can put that there. So say for example, if a kid is grounded or something, you can actually log in from any computer, even your phone, go here, select their accounts, go to allow or block, and say Facebook's their favorite site, block them, and they won't be able to go to Facebook. There's other ways to block this, but this is literally the easiest way I've seen it in a long time. Fortunately, I don't have kids, so I don't have to worry about that. Now you have time allowance. Time allowance basically makes it where you will allow the kid to use the computer for this much time. So say, for example, if um, you go and you see the kid on the computer all day, and during a weekday or a weekend, you can say that the kid is only able to go on the computer for, I don't know, two hours a week as far as the weekdays, four hours on the weekends, and somehow minutes. And, and basically, when they go past that point, they won't be able to do anything more, and it will sign them out and everything. You also have curfew. So say, for example, if um, you see the kid is using the computer a lot and, um, and and whatever, you can restrict them. Or you can say something like school, school days, you can um, use the computer on school days, but only at these hours. And to do that, in case you did miss it, what you do is you click and drag. Basically, this goes every 30 minutes. So half a block is 30 minutes. A block is a full hour. And you can select whatever you want. If you keep your finger on the button, your mouse button, you can drag down. And that will say how many days you want to add to it. Left and right will add more time or take away. So, say for example, you got something like that, and basically the kid's only able to use the computer where it's white. This is a little bit misleading. Um, once you do get a hang of this, it, this kind of makes more sense. And it's kind of weird that they basically make it where the default is always on. But um, basically, what you can do is do something like that and say the kid's able to use it all day on Saturday, all day, or well, part of the day on Friday, and, and a couple hours on school days. Now, keep in mind, this doesn't um, stop the curfew on summer vacation, spring breaks, and stuff like that. So if you want to allow the kid to use the computer during the summer and and go out at it, you can actually go in here and set that, just turn it off and let them have at it. But for the most part, if you leave it as it is, this still will take effect in summer vacation, spring break, and stuff like that. So keep that one in mind. And keep in mind, you can always log in here and change the time and stuff. Now, as far as app restrictions, you can actually put in app restrictions. So if you don't want them to use a certain app, then then you can actually press that on and search for the app. Gaming restrictions. So if the gaming uh, games on the computer are up to a certain point, you can say that um, if you like, say for example, you got a 16 year old, then um, this this won't go for 18 and above. Keep in mind this though, not all rating systems are equal, and this is going for Peggy or yeah, this is going for Peggy, which is European. The one that you really need to go for is ESRB, which is right here, and um, especially for United States, you want to go for the ESRB. Because that's where majority, if not all, 
the actual video games go through that goes through in the United States. Peggy is uh, much more easier to get a higher rating um, or whatever rating you really want. With ESRB, they're more towards the point and um, they're, for, in my opinion, a little bit more trustworthy. But also keep in mind that this um, is not always 100%. I've seen games fall through the cracks all the time, kind of like in the movies where someone doesn't like it for whatever reason. They shut the game up to mature. Uh, and, and sometimes it, it's something I deal with increasing sales. And sometimes they shut the game down even further because of reasons. And keep in mind anything like Call of Duty. GTA stuff like that is going to be mature so that, that's one thing to keep in mind now I'm not sure how this wa will work with Steam but um, we got to figure that one out as time goes by and I'm not going to be on top of this because I don't have kids so if, if you end up finding that this doesn't work for you for whatever reason kids are able to bypass it while the actual system is on and if you can prove that it's on and everything, and do screenshots, then please leave whatever you can down below in the comment section. And that way, it shows everybody that this is not a foolproof method, which I kind of doubt it is. Now, as far as the game list, if you want to block them from certain games, you could do that. You can do this on a computer side too, but it's more, much more easier to do it here online. On the computer side, it's only really with one of store apps. So. Request it. This, as it says, if a kid wants to go to a certain site or do something and wants to request it, it can go here. You can log in and simply OK it or deny it. And that's just a simple thing. And you can take a look at the uh, family members right here. Now, in case if you're wondering about the frequency and stuff like that, go to overview and then go to a adult profile. And then you can see the request frequency. So whenever the kid wants to access some content and they want to send a request, the email will go across immediately and then report frequency see which is what they're doing and all the other stuff will go by weekly now depending on the kid and depending on things I, I don't know if reports on them is really that much I think um, it's really more up to your parenting style and for me personally what I'll say is if they get back grades and stuff like that yeah reports and stuff like that and that way you can figure out is it their study habits or is it just that they just don't do the work and they fool around and that helps you figure out all right so you teach them how to study more like if if, if everything's good up the board they're a good kid and and they um they really don't go to places that they don't they shouldn't go then basically you can see that's where's the grading problem comes in play and other problems so th that's where i say reports will come in i mean again it's really up to your parenting style for me it's kind of pointless but as far as that goes that's pretty much about it as far as this and um i can see microsoft updating this over time as needed so keep that one in mind and keep in mind that this works some portions of this works only with Windows 10 and Windows Phone, the newer version of Windows 10 that will be coming out after Windows 10 does in July 29th. And other parts like the curfew and stuff should work on Windows 8 and above. But anyways, if you do have any questions or anything, then feel free to leave them down in the comment section. And I'll try to answer as quickly as possible, but if... Um, if you want to add anything into it then also leave that down below in the comment section real quick before i forget if you want to remove a family member just click on the uh, remove and then you can click on who you want to remove and go from there 
and there you go. Again, this has been Craybat, founder of Tech Reviews and Up. And if you do have any questions, you know where to get me. If you like this, please leave a like, subscribe, share, and please feel free to check out our other videos and follow us on Twitter to see when new videos come out. If you don't like this for whatever reason, go ahead and leave a dislike and tell me why so I can fix it in future videos. But again, this has been Craybat, founder of Tech Reviews and Up, and I'll be a great day.